To understand why we find the dinosaur fossils we do, we need to understand how fossils form in the first place. Not everything that dies becomes a fossil. Fossilization, in fact, is rare. Most dead plants or animals are eaten by scavengers or destroyed by bacteria. Those that become rapidly buried in sand or mud, like in a river flood or a landslide, have a better chance of becoming fossils. An animal's soft tissues, the skin and internal organs, usually rot away, even when it's buried, leaving only bones. Rapidly buried bones may become compressed in the sediment, and minerals from the surrounding earth slowly may seep into the bone, changing its chemical composition. Not even rock lasts forever. As the material around the fossil is removed by erosion, the fossil becomes exposed at the surface. If a paleontologist happens to spot it before it weathers away, the fossil can be excavated and preserved. 